Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Trudy and I am the owner of Wayfinder3D.com. I specialize in using Clo 3D to create intimate apparel garments, saving the industry time, money, and physical waste in both product development and marketing. So let's get to the topic of today. So I wanna talk about avatars. I'm going to minimize myself here. Oops, not that one, this one. Okay, so one of my favorite features in Clo is this auto convert to avatar feature. I was given this avatar from Figure Forms and right now it's in a OBJ format. It came to me in both OBJ and FBX. So I've brought it into Clo right now and what I'm gonna do is export it as an avatar. So I'm going to save as avatar and now it's going to, and I'm gonna put it in my own personal library avatars under figure forms and I'm going to call this the uh, FBX converted and it's going to close now I'm going to put it in a dot AVT avatar file for me so now I'm going to select all faces and I'm going to delete her and now I'm going to import add a avatar so I so now I'm gonna go file, add a avatar, and I'm going to bring in that converted avatar. So you can see now I can use this as an avatar in Clo. But if I try to change her stance right now, she has no bones. So that's uh, not that one. Yeah, so shift X. So normally in a Clo 3D avatar, let me bring one in so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna put her in one meter to the side so that she's beside her. So if I'm in this function right now under show avatar joints, shift X is your shortcut for it. You can see she has joints and I can move them. However, my original avatar doesn't and it, that's because she was never rigged. So what's cool about Clo 3D is that you can auto convert to avatar. So now I can take this avatar, go under avatar up here, and then we're gonna select auto convert to avatar, this one here. And we just get this warning saying, saying the, av the auto avatar converter will delete all avatars in the 3D window. Do you want to proceed? So you have to make sure you're okay with that. And we're gonna select uh, proceed. So I'm gonna go to where that file is located on my computer. So I'm gonna bring in that, that converted avatar, the converted OBJ that I just turned into a Clo 3D avatar. I'm gonna select female as my gender. This is the converted avatar that we just converted from the OBJ. And this here is the standard Clo avatar. And Clo is gonna use this auto convert to avatar to make these two body types match. And you get a few options down here. You can either pick Clo skin style, rigging only, or size editable. And if you look over on the right hand side, you can see what you get with them. So with Clo skin style, you get rigging but you don't get size editor with rigging only you get rigging but you don't get the size editor and with size editable you get both rigging and the size editor so we're going to go down to save path so we're going to give it a name we'll call this forms uh, options and then you can tell it where you want it saved on your computer. I like to put things in my own personal asset library. And I'm gonna give them a place. And then I'm gonna hit convert. And then it takes a few minutes to convert these. On my old MacBook, the old MacBook Pro that I was using before, it would take about 20 minutes for this conversion to run um, on my computer, which is pretty solid right now. It usually takes about two or three minutes to run it. So I can put the specs for my computer down below, but just, just so you know, there's there's quite a wide variety based on the, the strength of your computer. Okay, I'm gonna set the converter spit out. You have one that's close skin style, one that's ringing only, that's this one, and then one that is size editable, which will be. So the first one is close skin style. So it took our original avatar, which looked like this, this one here in the middle, and it made her have the close skin style, but I find that this weird like 
giraffe neck thing always happens and this one often doesn't work out for me it has to do with I don't know it's not like recognizing the face and the neck very well so I often en don't end up using that one and then this one in the middle uh, rigging only so if I hit shift x you can see that it's rigged but it's not size editable and this one is both rigged and size editable so um, if I select this one here and then go avatar uh, avatar editor and then I start changing you can see that she has the measurement lines on her body like the original well you won't see it on this one but if you bring in a, an original clo 3d avatar you'll see these measurement lines on the body and now these are modifiable so if I make her a little bit taller you can see she grows smaller same thing she grows so just like you have with your avatar editor in the regular clo avatars you can modify this one however you like so that's cool i really love this feature um there's a few things i want to point out when it does convert it to an auto to an editable avatar you, you can see that uh Uh, if I put her right on top of the original avatar, it has changed her original dimensions a little bit. So you can see it makes the bum a little bit flatter. Maybe if I change this to the wireframe, I'm going to delete this one because she's not really that useful right now. Um, you can see that the shape has changed a little bit. Uh, the so the measurements will be slightly different than the imported obj that you brought into clo <clears throat> but she is size editable so you would be able to theoretically get her back to the original dimensions that you had brought in um anyways i think it's really cool all oh, right and then now these ones also are these also have rigging so I can move them into I like using this more natural position when I show off my garments um, or you can give them poses I, I hate posing avatars I don't know about you but you can give them more interesting poses if you're interested in that let's see if we can use the um, the poses that come in clo on these ones so if we go to avatar, female V2, pose, let's see if we can give them a different pose. Select both. Okay, pose only, sure. Oh, cool. So that's cool. You, you'd be able to also apply um, the standard poses or, or any pose file that you have to save to these, to these avatars as well. All right, cool. That was fun. I love this feature in Clo. I think it's amazing. Um, you can also do it with Daz avatars or other OBJs. Oh, there's one more thing I forgot that's actually really cool about this. Let me show you. Okay, so if you select this avatar, why can't I? Oh, Shift X to get rid of these joints. And if I select this avatar, select all faces, you can see now that I also have soft body simulation here applied to these avatars. So that's really cool. Um, I'm going to bring in a. In a, in the next video, I'm going to put um, some a garment on her, and we can test out soft body and, and see how it works out. All right. All right, cool. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more about me, wayfinder3d.com, you can go check out my website, and I love hearing from you. All right, take care. Talk to you next time.